bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again, and welcome to French Hot Beer Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze has got a bottle of beer. It's, it's glass. It's 12 ounces. It's a glass bottle. From Milton, Delaware, out of the Dogfish Head Brewing Company. Bottled on... Don't know. I don't know. They have it February 1st, 2019. All right. This is the perfect disguise. It's uh, listed as a double IPA. Um, 8% alcohol by volume. The fuck? All right. Uh, 70 IBUs. So, uh, this beer is called the Perfect Skies because they, the brewmaster wants you to de decide as you drink it whether it's a double IPA disguised as a Kolsch or a Kolsch disguised, well, that's like a tongue twister, disguised as a double IPA. This is only the second review tonight, so uh, that was I was just tripping over my words. Clearly. They use um, German malts to give it a full body and a creamy mouthfeel. Four pounds of American and German hops in each barrel. Um, and um, and then it has tropical uh, flavors of citrus, tangerine, mango, and peach. Citrus, tangerine, mango, and peach. Yes. Mango. Citrus flavors of... Right. Um, just released for the first time in February, and it runs uh, till April. You said through. I don't know if it's through April or till April. I'm guessing through April. So uh, we will try to get this one out tomorrow on the <laughs> on the YouTube's quickly. Um, I have had this beer. Jeff has not. So we will. Scott always has the beer first because he does. We will kind of let him take the lead in describing it, and I will. You can take the lead to him. Follow it behind him. Um, double try. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 4 o'clock on the Eastern Coast. We release uh, reviews on YouTube. You can like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Yeah. And you will be notified every time. Yes. If you don't like these videos, don't ever come back. I'm still, we apologize. Um. <laughs> That's it. Our Redbubble account and all that stuff is down below as well. Yes, we are all over the social media craze. Hopefully it's a fad. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's not. What do we have for bubbles? I have some small, medium, and large. Some micro. Yeah. A little creamy head. Um, a little bit. They're, they're fairly white. Pearl color, maybe. Pretty clear body. A little foggy. Yeah. Slight haze. <clears throat> Nothing... Uh, Nothing floating around. Decent amount of carbonation. I can see the bubbles are rising. Um, it smells good. This is kind of like where I like my beers. Seven and a half, eight percent. <coughs> Maybe the IBU's a little higher. Um, but this is kind of in the range of what I kind of like. Okay. Yeah. Glad we asked. All right. Now you know. <laughs> smells. Fruity and citrusy. Yes. yes, yes, yes. It smells good. <sighs> what is that smell? The first time I got like some serious tangerine. You know what I get? Some peach. Oh, a bit of juicy fruit. <coughs> you getting a little juicy fruit yeah, in that? Possibly. A little bubble gum juicy fruit. Yeah, and a slight bit of a, a slight bit of uh, malt. It smells pretty good though. Can we drink it now? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> it's kind of a mind freak. Um. <laughs> um. It, that fruitiness carries into it. Carries over from the smell. Uh, peach, certainly. Some 
orangey citrus, probably tangerine. I do get the peach on the back end. Mm. Dries out nice, like you said. I thought this was a real different take on a double IPA. Mm -hmm. Cool artwork on here. It's a, a German guy with a, a stein full of beer and he's holding some, you know, German German malts or whatever. And uh, his, he's got a wind up thing in the back and his head is flipped open and there are hops inside. They always have some pretty neat artwork on here. Very drinkable. Yeah, I- um, Easy drinking. I always give a little extra credit to a different tasting beer and this is definitely no. is within that realm of uh of brews it's uh something i've never really tasted before and i i like it what do you got for a score on it um i'm like ah a four two actually i, I was gonna give it a four I really enjoy the newness of it, the experimentation, and sometimes Dogfish Head, um, for me, can go way off course. They have some weird ones. But they're always yeah. trying things. Yep. Uh, raisins in their beer, figs, peaches, like, you know, bark from wood, like all kinds <laughs> of stuff. You said 4-1? I said a 4. It's a 4-1 total. Okay. I was doing the math for you because you know you have you quick. You have troubles. I'm kind of interested to see where this falls. I don't know if I rated this. Did I rate it? No, but nineteen thousand other people have. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They all left individual reviews that we could add up on our own. Oh boy, it's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. I put it into my calculator app though. Yeah. And it gave me an overall number of 3.92. Okay. So, yeah. Good beer. Yes. Um, it seems like <laughs> less IBUs than 70, actually. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Now, the, the question the brewer asked was, IPA, double IPA disguised as Kolsch or Kolsch disguised as a double IPA? I'd have to go with just the double IPA that's got a little Kolsch likeness to it. Go stuck a little Kolsch in there. Yeah. Sprinkled a little. Yeah. yeah, I think it's more double IPA with a little hints of Kolsch. Yeah. Um, Kolsch is not one of my favorite styles. Um, no, but it, it does have some of the characteristics. It is a clean, mm -hmm. clean beer, dry beer. Uh, some people really enjoy it. Well, some people enjoy all different styles, but mm -hmm. um, not, not my favorite, but it works in this beer for me. Uh, I would say check this out if you, you if, can find it. And especially if, um, you know, if you like a, a, a German style beer and not crazy about hops, maybe this is kind of a yeah. a bridge, a bridge, bridge beer, a, bridge, a style a, bridge. A German IPA. Yeah, it's a new playlist. Mm. Style bridge beers mm. where they blend two styles together. I think it's going to be a short playlist. Mm. Yeah, not too many places do things. Yeah, we redid our playlist, so check out our playlist. Yeah, you can see. just put one on. By we, we mean he. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If you're going to take the kids to practice or something, just put it on at home and let the playlist run through. And, you know, when you come back, you can pick it up where it left off. and uh, We get all of you time. Yeah, we appreciate that. <laughs> we'll send you stickers. So that's it for uh, The Perfect Disguise by uh, Dogfish Head. Uh, we liked it. Uh, we gave it a 4.1, uh, a tad bit higher than the untapped average. Yep. About two tenths. Yes. Follow us on untapped. F H B R, all I capital you, letters. That's what you're swearing on. We accept all friends. We are now accepting applications for friends. So hit us up. Have a great night. <laughs>